वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 10.14 सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द रेडियस ऑफ राउंड स्टर्ट सो द राउंड एंड स्क्वेयर स्टर्ट हैव सेम क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया एंड कंप्यूट द क्रिटिकल लोड ऑफ ईच स्ट्रस यूज ई इज 200 गीगा पास्कल सो यू कैन सी देयर आर टू कॉलम्स दैट इज आर स्टर्ट दैट इज ए बी एंड सी डी द ए बी इज राउंड वाइल सी डी इज स्क्वेयर इन क्रॉस सेक्शन दैट इज 25 बाय 25 मिलीमीटर बोथ लेंस आर 1 मीटर so uh, the condition is the area of square is equal to area of round and e is 200 giga pascal so we have to find the radius of round strut and we have to find the critical load for square as well as round so let's start with the solution so first step is that uh, we will find the uh, area and moment of inertia for square strut so i will write for square strut you can see that area is equal to 25 by 25 and that is equal to 625 mm square millimeter you can see this is 25 and this is 25 that is mentioned over here so area is uh, 20, uh, 625 um, square millimeter now moment of inertia for the square one square cross section is equal to 1 over 12 its base is 25 and height is also 25 so base into height q clear so that will when you calculate it that will give you 32.55 2 into 10 to the power 3 mm power 4 or in term of meter i will be equal to 32.552 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter power 4 now we will move for round strut so i will write it for round for round strut we know that area for round is equal to pi d square over 4 clear and uh, from here d will be equal to 4a over pi square root now since area of square it is given that area of square is equal to area of round strut so i will write ar and both are same and that is equal to 625 mm square square millimeter so from here you can put the value 4 multiply by 625 divided by pi square root and that will give you d is equal to 28.2 mm now you have d so radius of round will be equal to d over 2 so 28.2 divided by 2 will give you the ra radius of round strut will be equal to 14.10 millimeter so this is the radius of round strut now we will find the critical load so critical load is represented as pcr and that is equal to pi square e into i divided by l square also uh, we will calculate the moment of inertia for uh, this round strut so it it is equal to pi by 4 r r4 so rc4 so you have to put the value pi by 4 r is uh, uh, 14.10 into 10 to the power uh, minus 3 because this is in millimeter Minus three to the power four. So when you calculate it, you will get R is equal to uh, a moment of inertia for round strut will be equal to thirty one point zero eight five into ten to the power minus nine power meter power four. Now critical load is given by this formula. So for round strut, round strut P critical for round will be equal to pi square e into i divided by 
effective length which is L square so pi square into E is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by I I is this one so I will write multiply by 31.085 into 10 to the power 9 minus 9 divided by L square so L is 1 so 1 square 1 meter all the values are in meter so when you calculate it you will get P critical for this round struts comes out to be 61.4 into 10 to the power 3 newton or that is equal to 61.4 kilo newton this is the critical load for this round strut now we will find the critical load for square strut so i will write for square strut we have p critical for square is equal to pi square e into i divided by l square so pi square e is 200 gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 i for square strut is 32.52 into 10 to the power 9 so 32.552 into 10 to the power minus 9 divide by l and l is 1 meter so a 1 square so when you calculate it you will get p critical for square strut is equal to 64.3 into 10 to the power 3 newton or p critical for square strut comes out to be 64.3 kilo newton so this is the critical load for square strut and that was all about uh, problem 10.14 that is taken from mechanics of material by bear and johnson sixth edition i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are learning from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching